so faithful. Well, I'm glad the revolution is alive and well in Texas, that's for sure. Presidential hopeful Congressman Ron Paul took his message to the steps of the Texas State Capitol. We want to take care of our own business and get the feds out of our lives and out of our way. Hundreds packed the South Lawn for the Tea Party Express sponsored rally. Among the crowd, Perry Wright, who brought his daughter out to hear Paul speak. He supports Paul because of his stance on foreign policy, a lesson Wright says he learned when his father came home from Vietnam. When he came back, he pretty much let me know that that's not our war over there. Um, we're fighting somebody else's war, and a lot of his friends and buddies got killed over there. Some 37 years after the Vietnam conflict ended, Paul says he vows to pull troops out of foreign countries if elected president. Well, who's going to be the policeman of the world? Who's going to do this and that? And who's going to do the nation building? I would say, not the USA. We don't need to be. Congressman Ron Paul says he's uncertain about November, saying he's not sure what's going to happen. He did say he likes seeing a portion of the country waking up. And many new Paul supporters are coming from a younger generation. And that's what young people like myself are starting to understand, is that we can unite under this one single idea of liberty and not be divided amongst other ideas, such as liberalism or Republican or Democrat or any other red or blue label. It doesn't signify one thing, which is liberty. It's on every single coin. Paul vows to reduce the power of the federal government and reduce spending. So my suggestion in our first year will be to cut the budget in real terms by $1 trillion. While Paul 